And then the big one is your SRK, which that's this. And that has enough cable for me to uh, descend from the nacelle and hit the ground. And it's just a thing that hook on, hooks onto your D-ring here. There's just rope that's about that big around and there's enough of it that it's flame resistant and everything. So if a fire happens, I can hook on up top and anchor off and come down and I'll have enough rope to you know, evacuate. Or I could use this to save somebody else. Uh -huh. um, so there's there's lots of you know lots of cool different things you can do with your equipment. So so you don't always rappel down. That's just for emergency. That's just for emergency. Oh, okay. You always know, ladder up and down. So mm -hmm. oh, I've never had to use it, and I hope I never have to. <laughs> it's around 287 feet from the bottom up to the top. So there's going to be several different decks, uh, and so you'll be climbing the ladder all the way up to the top. Um, and there'll be a few decks that kind of stop and transition and climb through several hatches and. Using the climb assist is a, a belt that basically, or a rope that is pulling you. It's a steel cable actually would be a better term, but um, it's remote control that's on your harness. And so as you climb up, it uh, will pull you and relieve some of the weight off of your harness, about 100 to 150 pounds. It makes climbing much easier, but uh, still you're climbing on a ladder. So <laughs> so this job is most uh, mostly troubleshooting. Uh, so getting the towers running when they uh, fault, uh, go down. Um, so it's a lot of electrical, hydraulic work, um, just basically solving problems, you know, if the tower quits running, we got to go get it going again. And then uh, they talked about a little bit of doing some maintenance stuff. So it'll be greasing, um, changing oil, that kind of stuff. So yeah, lots of, lots of uh, labor intensive, but uh, very rewarding work.